Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to be importing points with user-defined properties. In this exercise, you'll create a custom point file format and then import point information that includes user-defined properties from an external file, such as like a text file or, or something like that. This, this exercise continues from assigning user-defined properties to points. So we're going to create a point file format for importing user-defined properties. What we're going to do first is we're going to open up our points-4D drawing, which is located in your tutorials folder. And then we're going to go into our tool space and then go under our settings tab. Now after that, we have our point collection right here. This is our point. If we, we can expand this collection right here. And then we've got point file formats. Go ahead and expand that so you can see what's going on right here. You can see all the different formats right here. What these formats mean are northing, easting, and z means the, uh, the elevation. And it's all space delimited for this particular file format. With, say for this file format, the P means like point number, N means northing, E means easting, Z means elevation, and then D means description. So that file format is for text files that you know you, you get from a survey crew that they supply to you in order to import that information into your Civil 3D program. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our own file format right here. And we're going to do that by right clicking on point file formats and we're going to create a new one. We get our point file formats dialog box. We're going to select user point file, then click OK. Then we get our point file format dialog box. I'm going to enter in some information here. I'm going to type in manhole data. For the comment tag, I'm going to put a hashtag in here. Then for format options, I'm going to select delimited by. It's going to be delimited by a comma. In the table of column names, we're going to click the first column heading right here. Then we get our point file formats select column name dialog box. And it says, select the name of the column from the list of available names. If the column contains data that's not used, choose unused. Okay, so if we click this drop down, we're going to select point number. Then we're going to click OK. We're going to repeat this. We're going to go to column number two that's unused. For column name, we're going to select this. And we're going to select manhole material. And we're going to click OK. So you can see. How that's coming along. Then the next one. Select that. Click this drop down. And we're going to go down. We're going to select manhole pipe in invert. Then we're going to click OK. Next is going to be the manhole diameter. I'm sorry, the manhole in diameter. Select that. Click OK. Select the next one. This one is going to be pipe in material. And click OK. Let me expand this so you can see a little bit more of what's going on here. 
pipe in, pipe in diameter, material. Okay, now it's time for the pipe out. Pipe out invert right here. Click OK. Here's the next one. Manhole pipe out diameter is the next one. And then last, it's going to be manhole pipe out material. Right there. So you see, after we've, as we're going through the list of all, all of these different, I guess, uh, user defined properties, they're all being taken out of this list. Manhole pipe out material was the last one. Did we have one that was manhole diameter? Did we list that? No, we didn't list that. Okay. We'll do this. Yeah, we're missing one. Manhole diameter. Let's put it right here. See that right there? Click OK. And I'm going to move this right here. OK. See how I did that? You can move the columns by clicking on it and putting it over here. There we go. OK. Then we click OK. We're going to import user-defined property data from a text file. In the tool space, we're going to go to our prospector tab, and we're going to ensure that our point groups is expanded, and we're going to select the storm manholes group right here. If I hover over this, you'll see that it says that this item contains nine sub-items, so nine points. Of data and some of the data columns are blank so if I expand this I look around here yeah we can see some of the data right here we've got our we've got our point number we've got our easting northing elevation raw description full description description format and we got some extra information right here and we've got all of this stuff. But some of that stuff is missing. See how the manhole material information is missing right here. Okay, so in the tool space, under the prospector tab, we're going to go click on points. We're going to right click and select create. Then we're going to select this button right here to import points. We've got our import points dialog box. If we scroll down under the point file format, we've got our manhole data that we just created. So if we select that and then we press the plus, if I go up one level, within my civil tutorials. I've got my manhole data text file. This is what we got from the field crew. Click open. Then we have all of our information. Let's make this a little bit larger here. See all this data? We've got the manhole material which is concrete. We've got the manhole diameter which is 48. We've got all of this extra information that we can import now. Now we're going to go ahead and click OK. Then we get the duplicate point number dialog box. Sometimes this happens. For the resolution, what we're going to do is we're going to merge. Then click OK. And we're going to apply this to all duplicate point numbers. So the point data has been imported. I'm going to close this. 
Now go into your Prospector tab again within your tool space. Then click on the Manholes Point Group. And let's see the information. There it is. Remember how before we didn't have the manhole material? Now we've got concrete listed right here. We've got our manhole diameter. We've got a lot of that information that we were missing before. That's all been imported into our drawing. So that's how that works.